week's Parsha, we learn about the main event of the book of Exodus, the actual Exodus, the Yitzhiya Mitzrayim, the Jews leaving Egypt after being there for hundreds of years, and uh, the last years that they were there suffering terribly under the regime of Pharaoh, and uh, finally Moshe leads them out of Egypt in a very miraculous way with God's hand being shown to the entire world. He has taken his chosen people out of Egypt. And uh, to commemorate this, the Torah uh, tells us about various things that we shall do on the anniversary of this night. And we, we call Pesach or Passover. We, there was the Korban Pesach, the sacrifice of the Pesach, the Matzah, the Mora. It's all detailed in this week's Parsha about how to have that Seder. What's also detailed in the Parsha is the reaction of some people around the table uh, to these uh, practices and mitzvahs that we should be conducting on that night. The four sons, uh, the wicked son, the wise son, the simple son, and the son that does not even know how to ask. When we learn about the wicked son, we are introduced to him in this week's Parsha, that the wicked son challenges the uh, table, uh, the people sitting around the table and asking them, Ma ha'avodah hazos lachem, what is all this meaning of, this, of these rituals? Why should we even participate in this service? And the question we have to ask ourselves, uh, besides what the response is, is what makes him wicked just because he's asking a question? Don't we encourage questions? The wise son is also asking a question. Why are we uh, labeling him as the wicked son if, in fact, he's just asking a question about the meaning of these rituals? And I think if we look carefully at the text, it's not so much that he's asking the question that we uh, determine uh, the path that he's going on, but rather uh, it's the, what he's saying, because we encourage questions. We encourage uh, questions about our faith, and we encourage uh, children to ask questions. We don't, we don't want people to have blind faith. We want people to uh, be encouraged to ask questions, but it's rather the question that he asks, and that is, Maha vodozos lachem, what is this service to you? Meaning he's taking himself out of the community. He's saying, I am not part of this community. I am an outsider. And someone that, uh, someone that uh, speaks in that way, someone removes himself from the community, now that is a funda missing a fundamental Jewish concept of being part of the tzibur, of the community, as Hill taught us, al tifrishman at tzibur, don't remove yourself from the community. The fact that he wants to remove himself from the community, that's what makes him the wicked son, not the fact that he's asking the question, which underscores the importance of being part of the community. You have questions, ask them. You have challenges, challenge it. You, you want to go ahead and have a dialogue, have a dialogue. But the red line is that he, the, his fellow crossed is that he took himself out of the community, and that's what uh, we have a problem with him. You know, folks, in our life, our community is such a fundamental part of our life. The, the fact that we have generations upon generations leading back to Sinai is really reflective of our, our, the strength of our community. Let us value the concept of our community and let us always remember that we are not individuals, but we are members of a proud community. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Mm -hmm.